Hey guys, welcome back to Farthest Frontier. Last episode, we survived our first winter and got established a little bit here. So, oh, there's our other house right there. I think we fulfilled that quest, so hopefully we can get those settlers coming in. This episode, we want to keep expanding, keep building, keep growing, doing everything that we can, and uh, I really want to know what's up here. There's a way you can set an exploration point. You can tell these guys that you want to explore up here and they'll actually walk up there and go look at the flags. So you can either take manual control of someone and walk them out there them yourself, or you can just put, put the flags up and whoever's available will, will go out there by themselves. Alrighty, so year two. Let's, uh, let's see, what do we need to build next? What should we be doing? Oh, here we go. Three new villagers immigrated and two new villagers born. That's pretty nice. So I think we completed that quest. That's the three new villagers there, I think. And two, and two new villagers born. Okay, good. So another thing I want to build, a root cellar might be a good thing to have right now. That's going to help keep food fresh for a little longer. We're going to put that pretty close to the houses there so they don't have to walk too far. Ah, uh, another predator. Where are you? That's a boar. Okay, are you safe? Where's the boar? Oh, there's there's a boar. There's a boar. Okay. Oh, they're running. They're not attacking. They're running. I don't know what the game is worried about. I think we're good. As long as no one got hurt. I don't know how far I should push this, but yeah, there's boars out there. They can actually attack and hurt my villagers. Okay, we'll just do that for now. Okay, we got nothing being harvested, so let's keep up on the harvesting. There we go. We'll just select this monster area here. That should keep my laborers busy. Another boar. Okay. As long as they're afraid of us, we should be good. Hey, we found sand. Sand's a good, sand's a good thing for making glass bottles. Well, I'm just going to keep getting this notification over and over again. Okay, we need to get back to it. I'm just going to ignore it for now. Yeah, it's just going to keep happening. Okay. Okay, in order to grow and expand and do amazing things we need to get a saw pit so you can see on there that its desirability is extremely low so no one wants to live next to a saw pit so I'm just going to plop it down right here next to my other noisy building the wood splitter so hopefully they could just be noisy together over there Put a road there and that should be good oh look right here there's extra fish right here oh this guy's getting hit oh this guy might die Silon? Silon? He's retreating. Oh, he's good now. The boar's running away. Okay. Uh, maybe I shouldn't push it too hard if the boars are starting to fight back. Well, this guy's going for it. This brave, brave soul. What's your name? Ernan. 23 years old. Alright, he's a little brave. Maybe too brave for his own good. He did it. Can I push you even further? Let's keep sending him around and seeing what he can find. There's lots of blueberry bushes. It's always good to keep track of where the blue blueberry bushes are because you can move them. So other bushes like hawthorn cannot be moved, but blueberries can. If you want to pick those up, all you got to do is click right here and you can send a worker out here to move them all the way back to your settlement. I like to make a nice little blueberry patch so our, our forager doesn't have to go very far for them. Okay, so we've got some new villagers immigrating. Um, I think... Yeah, just one. And then two new villagers born. So that's good. Um, we're going to build a storehouse here. That's going to be this building. Yeah, this one right here. So I believe if we build that, that's going to unlock some other buildings. So that would be helpful. But um, yeah, the storehouse. So there's two different types of storehouse. Well, three really. I mean, this, this stockyard, that's going to store like large materials like uh, firewood, wood planks, um, big heavy large things like stone you know that sort of thing the storehouse is gonna store things like the smaller items like shoes and shirts and uh i believe like swords you know the the, the smaller things as you can see here these are i think this is all the items in the game maybe this might be all the items in the game if not it's pretty close so yeah you can see all the stuff that we need to get there's a lot to collect We'll be building multiple storehouses. Now the root cellar is going to just be storing like food and stuff that can be kind of kept underground, I guess, like uh, 
uh, the greens and herbs and stuff like that. that that's going to be kept in the store in the root cellar. It's going to extend the expiration date. Let's just say that. It's going to preserve it a little bit. Oh, sweet. We got the sawmill built, so that's good. Uh, we got two people in there. I can probably slow down. I've got two people chopping wood. You can see our wood is getting pretty high. So I'm going to take one person off the wood chopping. And yeah, our saw pit's got two. I think we're good there. How are you still missing meat and fish? We've got a hunter and a fisher. Oh, there, there you go. Okay, now they're working. Maybe we're just not producing enough food for them. We do have a pretty good surplus of food and none of it's being spoiled right now, so that's good. Oh, here we go. Seven people have arrived to your village. They have plans to immigrate. Will you accept them into your village or turn them away? I shall accept them. Seven, so 20 plus seven, that's, yeah, 27. Sweet. So you got to be careful because if you if you take on too many settlers at once, you can be, you can get a food problem. So we went from 12 months down to nine months by accepting seven new people. So that is something to watch out for. I'm going to get this forager shack going again since we got the extra settlers. Hopefully they can grab some herbs. Oh, here we go. A bustling market would help generate gold and attract new settlers to our growing town market stock houses and generate gold based on the number of houses in their work area that's going to be the next task is to get a marketplace right here so that's going to be locked so it's a it's a tier one item which means we could unlock it soon but there are some prerequisites that we have to unlock first which is going to be the saw pit and the storehouse well we just got the saw pit and the storehouse is almost done so as soon as that's done i'm going to be able to get the marketplace I started creating the, I started putting some houses over here. We need to, we need to give them a well. Okay, they need a well. So let's put that, shoot, I'll put it right here. I'm gonna make this whole area here. This is gonna be kind of like a housing district, I guess. If I do a marketplace, it's gonna need to be like in the middle of the houses. It's gonna have a ring around it of all the houses that it serves and you can't move its, its work area. So I need to put all my houses around each market. I'll probably end up making multiple markets. I'm gonna group up all my houses right here and we should be good. Okay, we got that storehouse. That storehouse just unlocked a bunch of other buildings here. So that's super nice. Now, also it should, yes, it did. It unlocked the market. So the market actually has a plus on its desirability. So people do want to live next to the market. See that big ring right, right there? That is gonna be, it's kind of like it's service area. We need to find out a good spot. I'm gonna extend these roads here a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here so I can fit two houses between it and the road and I can still cover those two little houses there. So I'll put that there. I'm also gonna, probably destroy these houses and move them up here let's get let's get these houses built first so i'm going to build two houses and then destroy two houses and hopefully yeah well, no one should be left without a house especially since we're going into winter right now that's important as you build and grow and expand you need to keep an eye on things like your forger shack because i'm building a market right in the middle of the area that the forger is going to be working so eventually this area is going to become developed and the forger won't have anything to really go after you got to keep moving their work areas as you grow and expand and maybe even moving the forger shack altogether oh uh, the snow's starting to come in here so but they still haven't done the root cellar come on let's prioritize that let's get that going let's speed up time here a little bit Two new villagers born. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna definitely gonna need these houses soon. You guys still haven't built this. With the new year coming up, we're gonna need some new buildings going on here. This tannery, that's gonna make coats so the so our people could survive the the winter a little better. And then you've got the cobbler, that's gonna build shoes. What else? Fletcher, oh, bows and arrows, that's very important. Especially we should we might be getting attacked here pretty soon. And finally, the basket shop. That's gonna create baskets so that way our, our people can be a little more efficient on carrying things. Oh, well, there's also the compost yard. So this guy, he's gonna collect the night soil from houses and compost it, basically. We don't have any fields yet, so I don't have any place to actually put the compost. 
I might hold off on that one. And it's also going to cost gold every month to keep up. Once we get the market built, the market's going to start generating gold. And then we can probably buy the compost, get, get the compost yard. For now, let's work on the tannery, the cobbler, the fletcher, and the basket shop. I'm going to do myself a little road right here. There we go. Okay, that should get us set for a little bit here. Holy moly, the firewood is out of control. You can set limitations on how how much that people produce. So I can set it to at 300 firewood. This guy actually stops. There are ways to set limitations. Um, let's see, how's everything else doing? Everything else is doing good. Man, the the wooden planks, that's that's coming in a little slow. We still need a... I'm going to prioritize the marketplace because that, that's what I really want to get done right now. And we can probably start moving some of these houses over. Relocate that. And relocate this one. New villager immigrated and two new villagers born. Okay. 33 out of 36. We need to start building some more houses. It's going to start going out of control here pretty soon. Always be building houses. You always want to make sure you have plenty of room for people. As you're building houses, you always got to worry about your food too. We haven't checked out our food in a while. Nine... Nine months of food, six, well, ten and six now, so six months are going to be spoiled. I'm thinking another hunter? Oh, fishers are, are easy. Let's do more fishermen. Hey, the tannery's done, so we've got a, people, a couple people here making coats, so that should help us out for next winter. Oh, and the marketplace is done too. Sweet. This marketplace... Uh, it's making an eight gold income every month. So what it's going to do is basically restock all the houses within its area and stock them with food and, and stuff like that. And it'll it'll keep an inventory here of, of food and firewood and stuff like that. So it also acts as a storage place so you can get barrels to help store food a little easier. And then you can upgrade it and you get like bonuses. So upgraded bonuses, additional income and larger work areas and yada 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 yada. Marketplaces are really good. That's going to be your main source of income. So a little at a time, I'm going to keep moving these houses over. I don't want to do it all at once, and then for some reason they won't get built before winter and everyone dies. So we'll just do it little at a time. Oh, we finally got the root cellar built just in time for me to move all my houses. Wonderful. More people. Six people have arrived at your village. They have plans to immigrate. Will you accept them into your village or turn them away? I will accept them. People are valuable. 40 out of 40. Okay, we need to build some houses. I don't know if it's counting the houses that we're moving. Oh, oh, it isn't. Okay, so we just built that one. So we still got another one that's moving. So that'll bring it up to 48. And yeah, we got two new fishing shacks built. So let's change their work area. We're going to put this person right there. And this one we're going to put over here. Here. There we go. They should stay pretty efficient with that. I like I like to go after the meats like fish and, and meat because the smokehouse it can handle a massive amount of food. And it can preserve preserve it can keep up with quite a bit. Preserving meats, I think they last pretty much forever, if I'm not mistaken. If you're not sure, you can look at all the food production in here and you can see, let's see. Protein. We've got fish. Produced, consumed, spoiled. We've got zero fish and zero meat spoiled. So that means our that means our smokehouse is keeping up with 100% of it. And I guess once you smoke it, it never spoils. Either that or they're consuming all of it right away. I don't think so. Oh wait, right here. Never mind. I'm sorry. Right here. Everything is getting smoked. And then right here. Oh, it is spoiling. Shoot. I guess smoked smoked meat does spoil eventually. Well, either way, we need to come up with better ways of preserving, like getting barrels and whatnot. We'll just keep producing what we can for now. All right, so housing is getting a little shy. Let's build some more houses. I'm going to build three right here. Usually in the beginning of the year, you get like migration coming in. I'll build three right there. Hopefully, if we do get some people migrating in, we should be good. But I'm going to need to start thinking about some fields here pretty soon. The thing with the fields is they take a lot of labor. So right now we've got all the buildings are stocked with people. We've got 10 laborers and 4 builders. The 
It's not a whole lot of laborers. You know, I'm really surprised we haven't lost anyone yet. So when you do lose someone, you get to build a graveyard to house them. And usually by now I've built a graveyard, so I must be doing something right. <laughs> then again, I'm, I am playing on the middle difficulty. difficulty. Vanquisher gets pretty bad. And we got our Fletcher building done. Just noticed that. Okay, so the Fletcher... Hopefully they're making bows and arrows. So we're going to need some bows and arrows. Mostly for our hunters, but eventually we're going to get attacked. You know, just looking around, I noticed... We got a good bit of gold coming in. So, I need to use some of that gold. Let's see, tax... Our market's bringing in 13? 14. Our market's bringing in 14. We're going to need to get compost yard because they're the houses are gonna get full of night soil here pretty soon oh look at that yep they got piles of uh, of night soil just sitting out there um, that's gonna need, need to get collected so this thing's got an extremely low desirability so let's get this thing way out here unfortunately the further out you put it the longer of a walk the night soil collector has to take so I don't want to put it too ridiculously far. Right there should be good. The night soil collector is going to take four gold. That leaves us with that leaves us with t ten gold to play with as of right now. I kind of want to get a little bit of defenses going just in case we get attacked, so we can get a lookout tower. This is going to cost five gold per month or whatever. And I can put it... It's going to initially cost 50 gold. Man, these things are expensive. I'm going to put it right here. So when we get attacked, they tend to go after, like, marketplaces or store yards or anywhere where your gold is being housed at. They might go after this store yard here. Yeah, our, all our gold is right there. That's not good. I should move the store yard a little closer to the to the town center. The reason for moving it a little closer would be to... Oh, Jesus, it's just sitting out... It's just sitting out there! That's a lot of gold. That's like... I could retire off of that. <laughs> I... If we move it closer to the town center, once we garrison the town center, they'll shoot arrows out and hopefully protect it. I'm gonna build it... Right here. Okay. Hopefully that's a little safer spot. I'm gonna build that and then I'm gonna say all the gold needs to go here. Later on, you can get a vault, which is going to really protect it. Hey, we got our basket shop built. So these guys are going to make baskets, and baskets are going to help these guys carry more items in one go. Oh, look at that. That's a soldier. That's a soldier. Vitoria. She is our first soldier here. Oh, she went and got her bow and arrow. I should probably move this to a safer spot. These guys are building at 10,000 miles an hour. Look at them go. Sweet. Okay, so we got our storehouse. I'm going to send all my gold over here. Okay, I think we can tell it not to house gold by unchecking that button there. So hopefully someone comes by and takes the gold from here and moves it over here. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Our town's coming along pretty nicely here, so... Oh, got the night soil collector here. So he's got 1% on his first compost. Um, Where is he? There, is that him? Or her? Yep, collecting waste. She's got the worst job in the village. So she's just gonna go back and forth with the... Yeah, with a wheelbarrow, so... Alright, well that's that's her job. I'm very surprised she is so happy. At least the happiness of our entire village, it's, it's pretty good. People are super duper happy. That might change as things start to wear out. Right, their clothing is going to start wearing out. They're going to need to need to get soap and all kinds of stuff. Oh no. We've got spoilage over here. 30 herbs have spoiled. Not good, but that's part of the game. Oh yeah, so they're starting to move the pile of gold. The big pile of gold is getting moved over here to this little pile of gold here. I think it's working. 
All right, so we got 12 laborers. So basically 12 people don't have much to do besides harvest resources. So those laborers are typically going to be going after like these trees that we tell them to harvest. And that's about it. I believe they, they help out in the farms too. So I think I'm going to sign an extra person over here for the sawmill because we need a lot of planks. We need planks to upgrade our town center to level 2 and then we also need stone. So like we got a lot of stone amassed, but we should still be on the lookout for stone. Yeah, there's a lot down here. This is also where the wolves come from, so we got to be careful down here. Uh, the geese are flying, what, south for the winter? It looks like north, though. Little details like that, which makes this game amazing. You can see the orange is slowly fading in. And then the green is slowly getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, little details. Gotta love it. Predators attacking. What do we got here? Oh, that's a wolf in town. Oh, he's down. Okay. When the hunter takes down a wolf, he can he can utilize the meat. That's always nice. And here comes the autumn rains. So one thing that I've noticed is spirituality. These people want to pray. They need a shrine. I need to build a shrine. Oh, that costs gold. Man, on the last update, I don't think it costs gold. At least a monthly cost. Darn it, that's going to take up a lot of gold here. So then we'll be left with two gold. All right, well, if the people want it, I guess they shall get it. All right, got a road going there. Yep, there's our temple, a shrine. Our shrine is right there, so they should start working on that soon. But they they might be going in for the for the winter. So it is getting cold out there. Four new villagers and a new one was born. So good, good. I can see that gold from here. It's just sitting out there. Look at that, just sitting out there in the cold. Well, that too. I can see it from way out here. Oh man, we're gonna get raided. Someone's gonna take that gold. Well, as winter hits its full swing here, midwinter on year four, we reach the end of year four. So I think that's gonna be the end of this episode here. We made some progress. We got some stuff built. Um, we're growing. Hopefully next year. Ooh, look at that. We are ready for an upgrade. That is 60 planks and 30 stone. We're, we're ready to upgrade here. Oh, man. Someone used a plank. Someone used a few planks. There we go. <laughs> That's going to go back and forth. And we've got quite a few villagers just kind of sitting around. So I think we've got a use for these villagers. And next episode, we'll be clicking this juicy button right here. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys are enjoying. If you have been enjoying, please leave a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you next time.